Catherine is sick. Who's Catherine? Is Catherine one of the girls that worked here at the brothel? Four point six, four point two, four point oh, four point two. <laughs> surprise! There's your Christmas surprise. Yeah, that. And now that watch the K two. It all started with a video game. Where are you? Where are you? I'm right Where behind you. you. Oh I'm my right behind you. I'm okay. Right okay. You. Oh. During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia, a heart-elevating ghost-hunting experience from Kinetic Games. What came next was a fan favorite on my Twitch channel, Phasmophobia with the Phil Rossi Scream Team. And sure, we had fun. But as we started to see the end of the pandemic, I got a call from Phil. How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are, just two dads, living their best life while investigating the afterlife. Within Louisa County, Virginia, resides the town of Mineral. Originally named Tollersville, Mineral adopted its current name when the township became incorporated in 1902 due to the robust mining business. It was the center of Louisa County's gold mining industry, hosting 15 gold mines within two miles of the town limits. A zinc and lead mine also operated in the area into the 1970s. Mineral hosted a major stop of the Virginia Central Railroad, completed between 1838 and 1840. During the Civil War, the VCR served as an important supply line for the Confederacy, marking Mineral and Louisa County on a whole as the location of significant cavalry combat. The cultures of Mineral, Virginia, on account of the mining industry, were quite diverse, the town hosting European immigrants such as Irish, 15.2% of the population, French and Polish, both 3.9% respectively, with Germans, 26.4% of the population, being predominant in the area. While this tiny rural town may have quieted down with the scaling back of mining operations, this hardly meant mineral was not completely removed from both Virginia's and the nation's attention. At 1.51 p.m. on August 23, 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake was centered five miles south-southwest of mineral at a depth of 3.7 miles. According to the Associated Press, it forced evacuations of all the monuments on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., and rattled nerves from Florida to Canada. The roof of Minerals Town Hall collapsed, and three of the six schools in the Louisa County school system suffered heavy damage. There were no fatalities and only minor injuries. Minerals Dunlora Inn, founded in 1916 by George and Selena Ergenbright, remained in the Ergenbright family for a hundred years until Tony and Sheena Wong purchased the inn in 2016. The Dunlore Inn served as a local boarding house for many years, and according to local history, served as both a speakeasy and a brothel. Today, after major renovations and a lot of love and respect for the property, the charming bed and breakfast hosts weddings, special events, and even a few paranormal investigations for the curious. And we are back where it started. We're back. For season one. We are back. We are back on your couch. And 
wow, what a wild trip it's been. It has been one hell of a year. <laughs> Am I right? Wow. And, and then on top of that, you have the growth of Old Spirits, all the different things that we've done up to this point, <laughs> and now it's our first Christmas special. So let's just jump into it. Dunmore Inn, what can you tell us about it? Dunmore Inn. So, uh, well, it was your birthday for one it thing. It was my birthday, and I could not think of a better location to do for a holiday special right. because this joint was your cozy little inn out in the country, Christmas tree, lights. I don't know if there was a fire going, but there might as well have been. There might as well have been. It had that coziness. And uh, yeah, we uh, we roll up, and it just felt... It had that holiday cheer. It really did. It really did. It was... uh, So this place, Dunlore Inn, it's located in Mineral, Virginia, and this was our first event with Haunted Nights. Yes, this was our first event, our first uh, interaction with... Those guys. Uh, and, and our first, like, people interaction, our biggest people interaction, if you think about it, for both of us after the pandemic. Our, our first non-bubble people yeah, interaction. Yeah, We were out of the bubble. There was about 15, 20 people. We're kind of going back in time because this was our fifth investigation. It was, it was right after Crescent. Yeah. Who's counting? Yeah, well, I am. You are. Because I'm the one editing the episodes and putting it all together. But... This was uh, Phil, Phil Rossi's birthday weekend, and I was coming off of my birthday at the end of October, which meant we had a lot of new toys to play with. And we're, we're in the car, and I go, you know what? It might not be a good idea to just show up with all this right. gear. We didn't so want to be the, the guys, you know, the bro- Those guys. Flexing. We exactly. didn't want to be the flexors. We didn't want to be the flexors. So we... <laughs> Save that for beach season. Right. So we we pull up. We we say, hey, uh, are you guys okay if we brought our own gear? And I remember uh, Lyle and Brandon were like, oh, no, yeah. that'd be fine. That'd be great. We roll in with two suitcases yeah. of stuff. And I just remember Brandon went, whoa. And I went, oh, crap. We are those guys here. <laughs> but we didn't want to flex. We just wanted to play with all of our new gadgets. We had so many new toys. And we're going to talk about all the new toys. We're going to give you some really good tips on when you have new toys, what to do and what not to do. We're going to do all that tonight. Oh, we are? Yeah, we are. Trust me, <laughs> we are. And um, we're going to kick it off with the, the parlor. So we were in the parlor. This is a great – this is this is this just really sets the tone for what was ahead of us. And what was really also nice about, about this, too, is that um, a lot of the gear that you may see pictured, that was actually provided by Haunted Nights. Yeah. And they, they provided K2 meters – and uh, REM pods, which was really, uh, really terrific. But let's just take a look at the, the opening of the night right here. Can you do something in here to let us know that you have joined us other than that little light? And that's Lyle. Can you from, set off one of these uh, meters like this? Nights. There's one over in the corner over there. Mm-hmm. See, there's actually one here on the couch. We've got quite a few of them. All you gotta do is just touch them. And that phone and those room pods are nowhere near the same. Let us know for sure you're here. Yeah. You can go up to those blue lights. You can make them go red or green. And then you and I can have a conversation. And we'd love to hear from you right now. I have tried every possible phone configuration to see what sets it off, what it looks like when right. it sets it off, right. and um, typically in experimenting, the phone has to be much closer to get that kind of that kind of light show. In this video and in this clip right here, there is nothing around these K2 meters, absolutely nothing. And um, later on, you're going to see a wider shot of the parlor, and you kind of see that we're, we're in, I, I would say that even with the tight confines of, of what we were working in, mm-hmm. we were still getting some incredible results. Yeah. Honestly, I hadn't touched the evidence in, I didn't, in months. Right. Right? And I was really surprised yeah. at how many things were popping. Yeah. Um, 16 <laughs> clips. We yeah. have 16 clips to review tonight, and and that's that's the that's pared down again, again, again. We pare it down, and uh, I, I could not be happier. I mean, and and what was really cool about 
the evidence that we brought back was it was it was of this variety. We we saw a lot of action from the K2, like this right here. We're kind of on the fence. We're skeptical. Now this was clever. But do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, watch this. Really? Okay. <laughs> They hit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they use the jars in response for some reason. I don't think we've ever asked. Do you that. look at us <laughs> as ghosts in your realm? I see there. Yeah, that and that was Simon. That was Simon still hanging yeah, on so to the reaction that, right there. Set that light off again, like you just did. If you think we're ghosts. Now I will say after after Dunlora, I started asking that question. Yeah, because that really was a neat question to ask. You we, know, we it's never, a neat we never question, but I, I philosophically, you know, I go back and forth with that question. It's that line of do they understand, you know, where they are that they've passed beyond this mortal coil, and are we leading them to a realization that maybe they haven't. Uh, they haven't hit upon yet. Well, that was something that, that Alex uh, Mitsuo mentioned on one of her recent TikToks. She was talking about her reaction to when she sees paranormal investors say, do you know you're dead? Do you realize you're a ghost? And yeah, from a philosophical standpoint, it, that is kind of a weird question. And, and it does, it, it, you can really go down a rabbit hole from that idea of, okay, what is their perception right. of where they are in, mm -hmm. in whatever plane they're in. What impressed me about that reaction though was when Brandon asked it, when he said, uh, do you believe in ghosts? That both Simon and yeah. the K2 yeah. fired off. Yeah. And, and the K2 continued to fire off. And I don't know if that counts as provoking, but boy, that's a great result to have. You know, <laughs> I, I, and I, I actually love the phrasing of the question that way, do you believe in ghosts? Right, right. I'm just, I just didn't, I like it. Phil, as you can see, Phil also had his camera out, and this was the perspective that he saw with the K2 meter. Again, it was really active here at Dunlora. Do you believe in us? Green for yes. Yes, the phone's even further Red away. Red for no. Yeah. That's definitely the morale booster I needed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> definitely believe in you. No, I mean, it would stay consistent. I mean, yeah, there's nothing there exactly at all. No, no, there was nothing there. <clears throat> that was really, that, that, was a, that was a nice uh, flip of the script. Instead of saying, do you believe in ghosts, do you believe in us? And that thing mm -hmm. went off nice and strong. Yeah. And also, I do like uh, Lyle commenting on there's really nothing close enough mm -hmm. to interact with mm -hmm. this. And they've been in this business far longer than we have. Well, that's, a, that's, that's what I think made this my favorite of all the events that we have done with Haunted Nights. This was a really, really nice event for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. and I will say this too. Listening back through the evidence, I mean, these guys really shine in this environment. They do. They, they really, really do. shine in this really environment. Uh, and I really hope they do some more events, that smaller events, uh, I think would um, be really neat to see them do in the future too, along with their big events. But I just think they have a lot to offer people that are more serious to get into this rather than just have the experience, but rather make this something that they do again and again. I think they have a lot to share in terms of knowledge. I, I feel like we hit them at the best possible time right, to because do this. Like tail end of pandemic phase one yep. where they weren't scheduling yep. these big events and it was a happy accident for us. Very happy. The other setup for this next clip, this is one of the toys, one of the new toys. It's the big G. Uh, it is the GS2. We have already reviewed it. Oh, on a grid. The, we, yeah. And I'm going to talk a bit about why we have only a few of these particular clips in here later. But this is a clip that I've used on other 5-Minute Paranormals, and this is in the connecting sitting room. Yes. You had the parlor, and then you had the sitting room, and the sitting room was actually a, a, a catch-all room for... 
our gear. Let's be honest, most of the stuff in there was our gear. Uh, but in, in this particular clip, I was-, I was That is not a flex. No, 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 not a flex, <laughs> not a flex at all. Not a flex at all, guys, not a flex at all. But in this particular clip, uh, this, this kind of encapsulates uh, the activity that connected both the sitting room and the parlor. Every time you respond, it makes us so happy. You, you see the grid kind of going on yeah. and going off, and going on and going off. Mm -hmm. We're not here, like we said, we're not here to make any tricks. This isn't about getting you to do things. And so we can communicate. Can we just confirm what you told us before? Are you a girl? Hey, I've got a question. Yes, I yes. It was a yes. Were you just in the other room, standing in front of that pretty red grid? Was that you I saw? <laughs> that was a green for yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There it is. And you know, what, one of the things that, that I have debunked since Dunlora is down. is the is the dimming of the of the grid. I come to find out that this the GS2 is not running on a power pack right now. It is running on its own internal battery. Mm. And one of the things that I have come to figure out with the GS2 is because it is trying to figure out motion, it's trying to figure out distance, it's trying to figure out where the cold spots are, it's keeping track of all the events, and it's projecting a laser grid yeah. all from one battery. Yeah. I think the battery gets a little taxed and yeah. it can't keep the laser grid steady. Because when I plug right, this in- you're into, voltage drops. Exactly. Once it gets to the- Once, once the you start diet, seeing the- Once it gets to what's emitting the lasers. Yeah, yeah, and the cold spots and it's not, yeah. and it not only registers cold spots, it registers hot spots as well. Mm -hmm. We don't see that here, but it does that as and well. we have seen it though. We have seen it Which is that. cool that but we've seen both. <laughs> since then, I've only run the GS2 when it's plugged into a power pack. Mm -hmm. And I've never had the grid flicker since then. Mm -hmm. And we have been to places like Crescent with it. We have been mm -hmm. to places like uh, Linville Manor with it. There it should have flickered. But the only time I've ever noticed it flickering is when it's running on its own internal pack. Yeah. This, was, this was still, uh, the, this was its maiden voyage. It was. And what was cool about it was it recorded eight events. Yeah. Now the events are anytime the grid is broken mm -hmm. by something. Mm -hmm. I had walked in front of it like two times. Mm -hmm. Phil said he had walked in front of it four times. There were eight events there. Yeah, and I've made sure to count each time <laughs> I broke it, which I probably have not done as consistently since, as far as keeping track of my breaking of the grid. Moving on, now we're we're uh, we're, we're still we're still downstairs, and. This is another great way to describe the atmosphere of this particular event, um, because yeah, there's there, there's just obviously there's there's this wide-eyed holiday wonder that's happening, mm -hmm. but we're still having a good time. I don't I don't mind you standing close next to me. I think that's great. But if you could just let me, uh, you're free to tap on my shoulder and so touch my you back. Hit that pause button there for a minute. So just to give a little context here, I started to, to feel like something was very close to me. And then I started to feel that staticky feeling on like mm -hmm. one half of my body. And then I felt one side of me was getting cold. So as I'm experiencing all this, I decide, well, and it's, that's I think the first time that I've experienced that, those sensations so intensely. Right. So I said, why not? up the ante mm -hmm. and uh, I, th I think this was the first time that I've actually requested something touch me if it's, it's so inclined. Funny you <laughs> should say Annie. Let's, let's, let's keep, yeah. let's keep uh, playing, see what happens. Oh yeah, I next. remember this one. Yeah. <laughs> I would just to love to know that it is you that's here by me. 
Now we know, or we've heard, this place used to be a brothel. Would Phil have to pay for you to touch his back, rub his neck, anything of that nature? I feel like as you're saying this, now here's, story, now here's my boy, here's my boy. Uh, Phil is my guest. <laughs> <laughs> I have one dollar here for whatever that I can buy for. You know what? It's my birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, come on. It's his birthday. Come on, this is his birthday. There you go. Can you? I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. A dollar would have been a lot of money. Dollar goes a long way, so I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, maybe it's, I think it's, I think it's light enough. And I admire Brandon for trying to, just trying to. So that dollar bill is lighter than I'm lighter than I'm Keep an eye on Simon in the back. Watch this. Put this right here. Um, guys, yeah, guys. guys. Off too. Oh, there's a red. See, yeah. look, there you go. It's a no. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm telling you. It's free. It's my birthday. No, it's not. Is it free for my birthday? Or you're offending a guy. I honestly don't know where to point. I have no idea where to point. I got nothing now. At that point, I got nothing. I got nothing. Because a lot of some other devices that weren't visible were going off. Yeah. The REM pod was going off, but I think. You had on that fireplace, there you had a you, you had too. No, there's a REM pod on the fireplace. Oh, and yeah. was that going off? That was going off. Okay, so that's going off. Simon's going off. Everybody's cracking jokes, and Brandon's put away the dollar. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing I would say, though, is that that room, that uh, those last two shots also really showed you how tight of a fit it right. was in there. We were, we were, we had quite a few people in there, but it... It's funny because I always feel like we get better responses when we have a lot of open air, a lot of open space. You know, when you think about like Crescent, when you think about yeah. um, Blackburn, when you think about Belgrove. But here, even with the tight, the tight fit, I felt like we were still getting really, really good and, responses. And you know, and I, I, I think it's, I think that's going to vary based on location. I mean, if you, if you take into consideration the various history of this location. Yes, yeah, which is pretty colorful. Um, minerals was, are, was colorful. Minerals are very colorful, colorful place, yeah. And I would hazard to say that it was often probably, you know, shoulder, shoulders bumping shoulders. And exactly. Other things bumping. Bumping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we wrap up in the downstairs area and we head upstairs. And it got even tighter upstairs, but we still managed to, to make this work. Now, Going to go ahead and go through the layout here. You have a bedroom, which actually connects to another bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, so you have an idea of what it's like. But you also brought in, and this was a new toy for us as well. I had just put the portal. Together. You just put the portal together. That's what's on the bed. Mm -hmm. That's what's on the bed. And then, and that's been, that will be going on. You'll hear that going on and off all night. But what was uh, another MVP in this particular room, you'll see them pop off here, are those those little gem motion sensors that you had from Crescent, well, mm -hmm. they, they did yeoman mm -hmm. service here. Take a look. Lyle was also arming. What do you think of 23 years of a woman being in the army? Not even close to those. We asked who the president was, and it came right out. Who won me back then? During your time, who was the president? So one of the things that I said, you hear me whisper, mm -hmm. that is weird. I'm just going to dismiss this right now. I was talking about what I thought was orb activity. It was dust. I'm just going to come out and say that it was dust. <laughs> just going to come out and and because I remember when we got back, I was looking. Look at all these orbs. Look at all these orbs. Now I look back on it. Go. Yeah, it was dust. <laughs> <laughs> and I do want to. I have one thing I want to say really quick about using uh, these are stairwell motion lights. Uh, very affordable tool to take out in the field. But one thing you need to make sure that you do 
the sensor on it is wide angle, right? So it can pick up motion, you know, well, you know, outside of where the device is sitting. And so what I've done is basically I paint over those sensors so there's just a sliver uh, so that so the IR beam is very focused. So if you're standing around it, you're not going to set it off unless you're going right past it. And we had these at Crescent, and they were very effective, especially when there was the uh, the long hallway mm -hmm. while we were up in yeah. the top floor of the hospice. Mm -hmm. They were yeah. constantly and going And the off. only time the roach set it off, it was right up on it. That one time. Yes, <laughs> that one right time. Up, that it one was time. close enough to yep. the light that we could see the roach. But here, here, that's just one. And I, that was that was my, my favorite moment mm -hmm. because both of them went off. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I would constantly look back there. I'd see one go off. Then, yeah. it, then I'd see the other one go off. I'd see both of them and go off. And just to point out, too, so the, the one you see at the far end of the room... That was angled away from the door. That's Interesting. Well. Interesting. So it was both of them are facing uh, laterally, I guess you would say, so that it, so that you'd have to walk you know past the bed mm -hmm. between the bed and the nightstand to get it to go on. Otherwise, uh, it wouldn't go off from you walking in the doorway by yeah you know, design. So this next clip is actually a compilation, and I have dedicated this compilation to you, Phil, and you'll see why in a moment. Here's my first warning about a millimeter. It can be very exciting to have a millimeter, especially when it has numbers and a bright LED display because, you know, you might just get carried away. <laughs> well, I will say this. This is the most active I've ever seen my, um, my millimeter. It's jumping between zero, 4.5, and 8.5. So... Both? Wow. Both of these just went off. 12.2. Wow. 7.6. That is nice. mm -hmm. Say that again. Right. Rest. 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 Thank you. Yep, that's what he's doing. Should I close my eyes then? Point two. Point three. Point four. It can be very exciting. Did I mention that? As soon as they enter the room, I asked if they said it. I thought I'd see if anyone wanted to come in here and, and sit with me. What happened wasn't that. I'm going to go ahead. And, and then I said, can you tell me what the job was of the person that we met? Oh, my God. He's good. He's a witch. I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job. 2.7. Well, we thought you were a witch doctor. <laughs> Uh, Were you a witch doctor? Point five. Point five. Was it a Native American witch doctor? Never mind. Never mind. But a caution. Yeah. Remember when you were listening for EV calls later? My yeah, boo was always looking out for me. <laughs> Perhaps could she be our EVPs with the? Great. I'm gonna sit on the bed now. Okay. That's true. What? Is, are there people in this room? <laughs> over, is there a room over here? Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, the, I'm the yeah. king of okay. diplomacy. Okay. Yeah. 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 T, shut the hell up. <laughs> shut the hell up. We get it. It's 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 a brand new toy. Uh, chill. Chill, bro. <laughs> no, I think that'd be a great idea for a t-shirt too. Point two. <laughs> and on the back, chill, bro. <laughs> or, or, is that a new EMF reader you got there? <laughs> yeah, so um, in the future, now granted, at this particular event, I still manage to sound like an auctioneer, 12.7, 7.5, 5.5, and we're sold. But, but oh, this is man. one of the cautions I think you have with new gear. When it's when you start to interact with it, it you want to share with the world. And sometimes, yes, you may actually compete with the recordings that you bring back. Yeah. And <laughs> you might miss you know, an apparition, full body apparition standing right in front of you because you're staring at the screen and reading yeah, every, yeah. every fluctuation. One thing I will say, though, about this compilation, though, is we also got a chance to hear the portal go off several mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. We and, and it's, it's weird because it's very much like a spirit box in that you don't know if it, it, it feels like it is responding to what the discussion was. Because yeah. I noticed that when Tonya was talking about we thought you were a witch doctor, that you suddenly hear, don't, mm -hmm. or, 
and then just kind of trails off <laughs> or what <laughs> or what you know um and speaking of the portal i do want to spotlight the portal the portal this was this was its main voyage right it was it was now how long did it take you to make this portal not very long at all actually right. it, it took and me can you give us a, a like yeah. a like a high level pass of what it is high level it's a, a spirit box any kind of spirit box uh will work for it and it is running through several different they're actually guitar pedals uh, one pedal that is called a noise gate, and essentially you set a threshold, and it's only sounds of a certain volume level will make it through that threshold, that gate, if you will. Right. Uh, and then I've got a little reverb on there just to give it a little more presence, mm -hmm. and this, the sound coming through that is. And then it's there's just a little gain boost pedal at the end of the signal chain, and then it goes into a little battery powered amplifier. And that's it, fully portable. Don't have to plug it in. It runs off a uh, and it worked like a power sharp. pack. It yes. worked. Like, it was a much like the flux. This was a big hit. I think now. Yeah. Again, the, you didn't intend to flex, but that was a major flex yeah, there because yeah. that was a DIY portal. And I will be honest with you, T. I was concerned that it wasn't working because you know, I broke my rule of not turning on gear in the house. But I, I wanted to make sure that it was set properly. Right. Um. I just got a. a Death stare. Look. <laughs> I just got a look. I told you this. And I... Yeah. And I, yeah. So I wanted to see... He told you this. Yeah. I, know, I know this. I know. Okay. No, okay. We're both getting no, we're both. tonight. Okay. 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 So I wanted to... We got a guest room. You know that, so right? So I, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to check out the audio levels. Right, right, right. And then I also wanted to see how long that little battery pack would power the whole thing mm -hmm. before it was out of juice. Right. And I think I had it running for six hours, maybe. And... Nothing. Maybe a couple like little pops came through. Otherwise, nothing came through. So I didn't. One, I didn't know if it worked. Two, I I had no idea what it would sound like if it was working. Well, <laughs> look on this clip because guess what? It worked. Are you sitting beside me now? Name for yes, right for no. Are you a fan of Christmas? Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you're sitting beside Tana, can you tell us what your name is? Now, what's terrific about this clip, I got to share this with you. What's really terrific about this clip is that I was reviewing evidence on stream. I was reviewing evidence on my stream, and it was someone watching the stream. This is why I've started to do evidence review on my stream, because I missed this. And man, when I heard that, I must have replayed it like four yeah, or five yeah. times. It's a gem. Yeah. It's a gem. And you, you, did, you did good. You did good, Rossi. Now we've entered the cottage room. And for a while, it was just you and me. And then we were later joined by Brandon in the cottage room. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the, again, one of the nicer suites of, of the bed and breakfast. A really nice, cozy room. Mm -hmm. And um, again, much like downstairs, we hadn't, we, we had, I think we were either just finishing up or something was, there, there was some sort of changing the guard happening in this clip and that's when everything just lit up. Here you go. I should say, it's up to you, man. I oh, to me? I got the duty to break. Yeah, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break as well. I've been hydrating all night, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Ironically, right. yeah. <laughs> goes in the bathroom. Yeah. I tell you what, we, you see those blue lights there again? If you want us to stay in this room, make the green light go off. If you want us to leave, make the red light go off. And that way we'll know if you want us to stay or go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that and that's the thing. The green okay. light's going off, but it's not. It's, 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 it's in the REM pod. It's I mean, in the REM pod. We're gonna have to yeah. take a break. I love it. But we will come back. I love it. Is that okay? We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. It seems to be our way, isn't it? Like, like we're we're we're, we're, we're getting ready, ready to, to to take a break or go that's somewhere, like, and then like um, hi, uh, over yeah. here, over here. No, 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 no. you're not going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Not the first time it's happened. It's not going to be the last time. So we are still in the cottage room mm -hmm. on our own. You sent me this clip. This is from your body cam. This I don't is think from this my is my body cam. Or, mm -hmm. or, or, no, I'm sorry. It's not your body cam. It's your it's your full spectrum cam. No, well, I, it, because this is stationary. Here. This is stationary. 
This is stationary. You had a body cam on already. So but I have two, <clears throat> two of the same units, mm -hmm. one that I mount stationary right. and one that I wear. Here you go, Phil. Thanks for, thanks for bringing this to my attention because this is your camera, but this is my H4 on the audio. I was able to sync it up. Is there anything we can do to help you? Is there something that you're upset about? <laughs> I think I just heard that. <clears throat> Scared someone. But you see, the, I, I had to point out the chatter outside in the hallway so that you knew the difference because that come in for a minute, I thought it was coming from the outside. Mm -hmm. And then I listen to it again, and I'm like, no, it has an entirely different texture. It has an entirely yes, different tenor to it. Absolutely. And did you review the clip I had sent you of the come in? Because I caught that yes. on my. And, and so that <laughs> yes, it did. We caught yeah. this. We caught this not only on 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 your audio and my audio and this camera, but there was a second camera that you sent me, and it was on there as yeah. well. And so here's yeah. what I did. <clears throat> Just just to review this, so when you're in an environment where there's a lot of chatter, it's it's really helpful if you scrub through the audio and listen to portions where you do have that chatter coming from the hallway or any of the other background noises. So you familiarize yourself with what that audio sounds like in that space. You familiarize yourself with the characteristics. And then when you're able to do that, that eliminates any doubt that you've for what you've actually captured. And it just it just didn't sound like everybody else yeah. in in the hallway. Uh, definitely not the person that you startled with your motion sensor. No, no. <laughs> and that's no. not the first time. That was that was like a repeat from Crescent. Remember when you scared scared the people from Crescent when you forgot that it's solid thing. It's, it's your thing, thing baby. Thing. <laughs> I, but I will say this though. I mean, <clears throat> even without editing, at least on my file, I mean that come in really popped. It did. It did. In such a way that on my first pass, I disregarded it. You thought it was because from I thought the it was from the outside. Wow! Until I had been listening through again, and said, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. It was a really good clip. Yeah. Now, at this stage, uh, we are still. We, we've decided we're going to wrap up in the cottage room. Yeah. Because the cottage, the cottage room was a really nice room, and we were joined by Charlie and August. I do. Wanna, <clears> there's <throat> one thing I do want to say about uh, the cottage room that we didn't. Uh, we don't have quote unquote evidence, because it was a subjective experience right. that we all shared though. At one point, got a very strong floral sense. I almost had that clip on yeah. here, but because we have 16 clips. Yeah. Well, I, that's, that's why I just wanted to mention it. Right. Again, right. nice shared experience. There were a, a, mm -hmm. And there were a lot of just personal experiences like yeah. that. Did it smell like flowers? Well, you're very saying, faint. I smell like a floral scent. Yeah. Is that? I just I just picked it up when you said that. Okay. Okay. So so you're you're smelling it as well. Exactly. Right. So some sort of maybe like a flowery perfume. Yeah. yeah. Or a, or like almost like a soap. Yeah. I have it in my hands. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> well, yes, I did. Yes, I did. It might it might be that. Might be I don't know if I'm smelling your hands up all the way over here though. No. 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 No, because I didn't smell it till right before you had said yeah. something. Temperature's dropping again. Do you ever get the feeling when somebody walk like they don't leave like a trail right. or like even leave like a wind trail, but like felt like somebody had walked from that area by here towards the door. Okay. I'm not smelling yeah. it as much now. I no, I smell it very potently right here in the corner. Yeah, it just okay. And there it goes That's... again. I've got the like skin crawl happening again. I think I think I think she she likes you. As far as feeling the staticky feeling, feeling the cold spots. We're gonna we're gonna get yeah. to the the staticky feeling, and the cold Ooh, spots because okay. we do we do share that with uh, Charlie and August okay. on this. And once again, auctioneer Morris does come out to play because he's got the mel meter. But the the numbers, uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it. The numbers don't lie. I'll go on ahead and just fire this up. Just like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is the, these two things together are not putting out that much. Spread into English.
Hablas inglés. Ooh. This is Grandpa in the bathroom. And Perfect Posh, because nope. I have a couple of Russian sensors in there. Hablo español y inglés. I'm doing the best I can here. I'm just saying. Is this an ad for Duolingo? Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's coming up. Yeah. Hablo inglés verde. Hablo español rojo. I'm, I'm, I'm doing Spanish on Duolingo, so you know, it's, I'm not trilingual. So God, if I was, oh man. 17.6. 17.6. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's pretty nice. 5.9. This thing is going nuts. If you're here with us right now, go on ahead and just let us know. Give us a sign. That was the sign, T. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you about 10 signs. <laughs> We were just touching. I know. Yeah. And then, <laughs> did you hear the growl? I, uh, I heard the growl. I did. It was this monster. <laughs> <laughs> the K2 just um, before you walked over there, teeth flashed up to yellow. Oh, really? yeah. What I wanted to point out there was the 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 interesting thing about the history of Mineral Virginia. Majority of people that lived in there, and I have the I I've already covered this in the history segment, but. Um, there was a sizable German population yeah, yeah. in Mineral Virginia yeah. around the time that a lot of these hauntings are, are dated back to, mm -hmm. which I find absolutely fascinating. And the fact yeah. that it was it was saying Sprechensee, I mean, that again, that really pops. It pops. Yeah, I, uh, the the portal. And that's the only time I've ever heard Sprechensee come, come out of that come portal. out of that portal, <laughs> <laughs> or um, any other German, really, for that matter. And and here's another here's another segment again we're we're um, the, the 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 stuff that's happening on the on the EM, on, on the mel meter I again brand new toy and as you can see uh, at the at, at the beginning of it it's just sitting it's just flatline it's at zero it's at zero and I'm not near any of these devices they're not putting out enough of a field no. to really to to really make this thing react but. Is as you see in the clip, and watch what if happens. Anyone is here with us right now? Watch what happens. Go on and uh, touch that ball. When I mention when I mention Catherine, which might happens. mean you have to step away from the grid. That's um, okay because you're dimming out the grid right now. Would you mind stepping? Lights, yes, the light. Step away from the red light. Yeah, step away from the red light on the wall, please. Back to zero. I'd like to see the whole grid. Can I set the wall? And I do zoom in onto the uh, millimeter at one point for good reason. You'll see why. Catherine is sick. Who's Catherine? Is Catherine one of the girls that worked here? At the brothel? Wait for it. 4.6, 4.2, 4.0, 4.2. Surprise! There's your Christmas surprise. Yeah, there that. And, and now watch the K2. Oh, yeah. The room was popping, baby. Yeah. You trying to talk to us? 9.6. 9. Yeah. 9. You want to talk to us? Watch this. So you can actually go. I'm yep. going to give you a little room. But you, you just can go, go on go either side of that. Just said go. I just want to point that out. And you can make the lights go oh, red. Oh, you gave us a red. Whoa. That is. Unfortunately, wow. I didn't catch that on the cancer. What do you have to say? I, oh, I've got chills all over me. <laughs> but I did wow, get that. <laughs> Can you light up any of the other devices? We would love to see them all light up before we go. That would be really exciting for yeah, us. Big finale. Big finale. Like the fireworks. Fourth of July. Did you like the Fourth of July? Not bad for a first-time yeah. DIY portal, baby. No, not not bad, bad at all. No. But but th this is something I find really fascinating. This particular clip is that the K2 is going off, the millimeter is going crazy. 
the the flux is silent. The flux is absolutely mm -hmm. quiet. Yeah. And the REM pods, in, at least in this clip, the REM pods are also quiet. Mm -hmm. And I find that really compelling. Mm, I, there you know, it there it is, there it, it is. is. Happy um, holidays, folks, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but I was so impressed with the way the portal just went nine, and you see the millimeter hit nine. I, I don't know what that means, but it's, it's it, to say it's a coincidence, that's a pretty, that we need to go to Vegas with that yeah. portal and these odds because we really do. <laughs> and, and T, I don't know if you caught it in your review and we'll have to share it on the, on social media. That's not the first time that the portal said what your meter showed. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, but that was the best mm -hmm. representation of it because at one point it did say, I, I, I do remember earlier on in the other room, it did say the number that was on my millimeter, but we didn't catch it on video. No. That time we actually caught the audio and the video at the same yeah. time. And yeah. I'm just like, yeah. I can't, I was sitting on that like a, like a little Christmas present under the tree going, I can't wait to give that to Phil. I can't wait to give that to my boo. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I do have a question for you. Though. Okay. Okay. Do you often sit on your Christmas presents? I do. Okay. I do. I keep them warm <laughs> like eggs. Like eggs. Like little, like little xenomorph eggs. <laughs> And on that note, we're going to end tonight with uh, this 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 closing this closing clip, mm -hmm. which again embodies the entire experience not only of mm -hmm. Dunlora but also of what happens when you and I are, are in an investigation and we say the words, "Hey, we're getting ready to go because this will happen." I think it's time we wrapped up this uh, this party. You have to stay here. You have to, yes, you have to stay here. Yes. We're going home. We're, we're going home. home. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. You've been. Before delayed. we go though, you're making the, you're making the grid flicker again. We don't want you to be upset. Are you upset? The K2 is going Are you upset? I, I heard a, like a sound. Yeah, oh, I, heard, I heard a little, I heard, I heard a little pop. Yeah. Are you D ready to say goodbye? We have to go bye. That was the yep. Look at that. Oh yeah, me too. But she's. <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't stay here all night. Yeah, we, we'd love to stay here, but we'll come back sometime. It was nice meeting you. It was great meeting you. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. I'm, I'm gonna turn the lights on now. Good night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I mean, right at the end, K2 meters going off, mm -hmm. the millimeters going off, the REM pod in the bathroom's going off, the portal is going off, we're getting the chills. I'm just like, okay, we need to go home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was a special place. It really was. It really, really was. So, what do you think, T? Well, you haunted. haunted, but... Let's talk about the drive back. So we're okay. driving back from Dunlora, and I remember you had this very intense conversation with me after Dunlora. You said, I don't ever want to hear you say that we are beginners yeah. or that we are amateurs. And I wanted to I wanted to pick your brain about that in this holiday season because the holiday season no matter which holiday you celebrate, this is always the the time of year as you know, as Dave Koz says, December makes me feel this way. You always look back. And I wanted to know what was running through your mind about that, about that whole thing of what 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 was it about Dunlora? that made us say, okay, from this point forward, we're not gonna call ourselves amateurs or we're gonna call ourselves beginners anymore. Why, why was that? <clears throat> I mean, just watching the footage back, there's such a remarkable leap from this moment in December, from July when we first started doing this mm -hmm. at Belt Grove. I would agree. Um, I would agree. This was also post Crescent. Yeah. The, post the Crescent. Boot, the, the boot the camp. camp. The boot camp. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where the boot camp on Silent Hill. <laughs> just really had a certain poise and we, it just seemed very natural and people were engaged with us and it was just a moment where it just felt 
like we didn't really have to really think about what we were doing. We were just going with the flow. We were still learning, though. I of mean, course. We were still uh, learning. Well, we're still learning to this day. <clears throat> that's true. Yeah. That's true. We've had... The, the moment we stop learning on this journey, we, that's need, when we, we need to pick something else to do. Or, or okay. yeah, or just wrap it up and yeah. say, yeah. we're done. Thank you. Shalom. Good night. Yeah. And, but I, I do think that, yeah, when, when we hit Dunlora, again, we weren't looking to flex, but we had all that new gear. Yeah. We, we were had, we, 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 we were, were pumped <laughs> and we... Yeah, I, I remember several times I was thinking during Dunlora, I wish we had this at Crescent. I wish we had this at Crescent. I wish. <laughs> and turns out later on we did take it back yeah, to Crescent. Yeah, a lot of that yeah. gear. And but even then we've we've learned we learned so much between uh, between Belgrove and Dunlora. And we're still like you said we're mm -hmm. still learning, and we're still pushing the boundaries to see what's next what's around that corner uh, do we turn around as you would as you would say on your on your podcast but i yeah i i, I did make that promise to you and i haven't since then i no, no longer actually, say you have not. i i have <laughs> never said that we were amateur i have never said that we were <clears throat> we were beginners i i would tell people oh we've been at this for one year or mm -hmm. maybe 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 shy of one year just to kind of keep that perspective but i do think that especially being able to take our whys to some of the things, you know, we had, of course, we had in February, Couples Weekend, and that was a blast. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, we're going to be covering that in season two, by the way, so mm -hmm. be ready for that. Um, <laughs> there was also be being able to take more, uh, more, more outings with the family, uh, yeah. and then we got a chance to to introduce this to other people. You know, we got a chance to take Steve Saylor out. We got mm -hmm. a chance to take the Ghoulie Girls out, mm -hmm. which we talked about at the end of season one. Yeah. It's, it, it, I feel like even even though we've been at this for now over a year, it has been an astounding Abs journey. Absolutely, you know. And as you're describing that, when you ask what you know, what was exactly going through your in, through your head on that mm -hmm. ride home? It was this overwhelming sense of, wow, this really feels right. This feels like yeah. the right path. Yeah, and it, it was like, what is next? And it, honestly, the thought was, you know, how how do we get Pip and Tina involved in this? How mm -hmm. can we share this? Because I was just so overwhelmed in that moment of just, of just all the feels. And yeah, wanted to be able to to share that with our partners in life. This journey because it's it's. Incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. So speaking of the journey, uh, this is our final episode for 2022. There is going to be a break. Phil and I have talked about it. We're going to take a very <laughs> short break. We are going to uh, continue putting up shorts, but five minute paranormals, we're going to put a pause on those. And as far as the, <clears throat> as the episodes, we will be kicking off in February with a brand new season two episode. <sighs> Be, be looking out for the teasers, be looking out for the trailer, and mm -hmm. uh, that's all going to be coming, but we have some stuff planned in January. We've got some stuff planned in December. Yeah. Season two, we're going to be taking you to Linville Manor. Season two, we're going to be taking you back to Crescent during the day. And we have a few other surprises. We're not going to reveal them just no. yet. We just want to thank you all for the support. Amen. We want to thank you for um, all the comments you've been leaving. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you in 2023. So on behalf of everyone, our partners, our kids, our special guests, you all have a Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year, have the best holiday you celebrate. Take care, stay safe. And we'll see you in the field.